Hey guys, welcome to today's video, and today I am doing a video I probably both things I vlog, but whatever. It's my least fit, my top five least fit books of the year, even though I'm only talking about four books. So don't feel like, because I don't think I've read one that, like, I hated worse than these. So we'll start with my least, I don't know, we're just going to start with a book, and then we're going to go from there. The first one's one first one to talk about is Seed Fox by Paul Fleshman Fishman. However you say that. This book is about a girl who who dad dies while they live in America and they live in like the uh um I don't know, I can't I swear, what's the name of it? Um, they live somewhere. They live da, da, da. It's about like 20 different people who come to the American Garden and like they show it like your community is always like super nice. No, no, no. Maybe reason I hate this book is I was forced to read it. I bet if I wasn't forced to read it and I just picked it up by myself, I would have like Jin not liked it, but not hated it. It just seems stupid, and it still does, that like 20 people, different people can come together and not steal stuff. Yes, it's a possibility. But when you live in like the Bronx, now, I don't have that much faith in human, hum, humanity. You get what I'm saying here? So yeah. There's one, it's not like, there. Next one I have is The Hunger Games. People have told me, because I love Divergent, Divergent so much, that I should read The Hunger Games because it's like it. No, it's not. I read this book. I hated this book. It was nothing like it. I hated it. I just hate the vibe of it. I finish it, but I hate it. Sure, I sound like I didn't actually read it, but I read the majority of it. And I fell asleep listening to this audiobook four or five times. Literally four or five times I fell asleep listening to this on audiobook. So, also, I don't really get, get it. I get that the one girl steps up and plays with her sister. Okay, sister I love, I get that part. But then, like... She has to, like, beat other people to live. Okay. And then you have... It just didn't make sense to me. So there's that. And then these next two books are of the same sort. Um, the next one is The Crown by Kira Cass. This is the final installment. Or this is the final book in a selection series. I hate this much book. As in, I just didn't like it. It was the. Let me preface this by saying the only reason I read this book was because of something that happened in this book, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, and so the main characters, the main character in this book is the daughter of America's singer, and Max and Shreve, or technically America's singer, Shreve. But still, it's their daughter. And she is so conceited, and I just, I only should read this because something that happened in the first book, and the, what's it called, the, the air. That's the only reason I even picked up this book. So, it's not that I didn't like it, it's that I didn't even want to read it, but because I'm someone who can't, um, who can't live not knowing what happens to some uh, certain characters? I like I force myself to read it. And the next book is, and the last and final book in this video I'll talk about and hate on, is *The Air* by Kira Cass. I do not think this book, nor do I think *The Crown* should have been written, um, because I think the um, story should have ended when um, Maxon. And America said, I do, at the altar. I think that's when it should have ended. 
sure we have questions, but hey, their child, they had two kids, they have twins, and their girl came out first. Um, the girl came out first, and the die, and the boy came out second. So, they, their parents were like, "We're not gonna give the crown to our son because he's this, because he's the boy." No, okay, right. perfectly understandable. Um, if you've read the series, you know what America did, so you would get this more. And so she, so they decided that she would become the queen, and would have her a selection of her own but instead of selecting women they would select men um young men from the country which i thought was a novel idea okay cool switch it see what the girl says this would have been better i feel like if we read it this idea the premise of the story would have been better if we read it from the contestant's perspective i feel like but we can't change anything now. This girl is so conceited. Oh my goodness. I do not like her whatsoever. But that does not. That's not the reason I don't like the book. I don't like the book. Because I don't. Just don't think it should have been written. That's like the, the one. That's just how it simple and plain it is. I'm sorry if I hate on one of your books. I don't really care if you leave me hate comments. Because no one ever really watched my videos anyways. So yeah, um, thank you for watching if you did. I'm sorry if I beat up one of your favorite books. Please tell me why it is and your points. And if they're valid, I will respond and be like, hey, okay, that makes perfect sense. So yeah, guys. Um, I love you all. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. If you do, uh, if you did like this, and if you don't agree, you should like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell notification and notify every time I upload a video. I'm uploading daily until I go back to school, so the 7th of January, and then I'm going to be posting once a week from then on. So yeah, I love you all and see you guys tomorrow.